Welcome to Muggle Science. From Muggle Studios, I'm Dr. Eyes. And from Boron, California, I am Dr. Schnobel. Today, we'll talk about boron. Despite its name, boron is anything but boring. The fifth element in the periodic table, boron is quite rare in the universe, just like the third element lithium and the fourth element beryllium. These elements were not made in the Big Bang and are actually destroyed inside stars because their nuclei are lousy at holding protons and neutrons together. There would be no boron around if not for cosmic ray spallation, where high-energy cosmic particles bombard heavier elements like oxygen and carbon, breaking them apart and producing lighter elements such as boron. Boron is rarely found as a concentrated mineral, and one ton of dirt contains only about 10 grams of boron. Much of the mineral boron is mined in Turkey, but about a quarter is dug out near Death Valley, California. Boron was first isolated in 1808 by chemists in Britain and France. Its nucleus consists of five protons and five, or most commonly six, neutrons. The five protons are balanced by five electrons, two in the inner shell and three in the outer shell. These three reactive electrons make boron versatile and capable of forming very strong compounds with other elements. Most of the world's boron is used to strengthen fiberglass, glassware, and ceramics. It was already used in glassmaking by Persian alchemists. Combined with nitrogen, it can form boron nitride. Hard as a diamond, boron nitride is used to coat machine tools. When combined with carbon, it forms boron carbide. Light and extremely strong, it is used in tank armor and bulletproof vests. Boron is a potent poison to insect pests. But in humans, a small amount of boron keeps bones strong and protects against a serious bone disease, osteoporosis. Well, that's it for now. Bye! Bye.